everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of XL TV. I'm Nathan Van Buren and I have the privilege of doing the how-to shows on XL TV. Hey everyone, we're back here for XL TV. Today we'll be showing you the basics on how to cross them. Hey, we're back here for XL TV and today we'll be showing you how you can do basic slides on a longboard. So we're currently in our garage slash toy room, which holds some of the gear that we use to film XL TV. So over here, we got one of my favorites. We have windsurfers. These are super awesome. We take out on the really windy days. And then moving over, we got a couple surfboards, which are really awesome for when the waves are cooking. We go out and take these. And then one of my personal favorites, we have hydrofoil boards. These are awesome when the waves are, it doesn't matter what it's like, you take these out whenever it's big or small, these are really awesome. And then moving across, we get to one of my other favorites is a supboard. So this is really awesome. You, It's like a really big surfboard, but you stand on top and you have a paddle. And that's really good for your fitness and your core and your back. So one of my favorites as well. And then moving up, we got the longboard one of the awesome sports that i love to do and when the waves are kind of small take this thing out go for a ride have a lot of fun so that pretty much sums up this part let's take a look over here we have these big boards and these are for what we call downwinding so these boards play a big part when we're out in the ocean doing downwinders I would classify myself as an ocean sport athlete because we use such a wide variety of ocean craft. So let's move on and check out my happy place. So welcome to the XL TV office. This is our headquarters and where we get to design and test all of our equipment for XL TV. So one of my passions is actually designing the equipment myself, such as surfboards. I get to design them exactly how we need them for the shows and for riders and people around the world, which is super awesome. So I've been competing in competitions since I was a young boy. I've really enjoyed the whole aspect of the competing as well as the free ride. But through the competing, I've been able to travel around the world and go to some amazing events. So I've had the privilege of competing in one of the craziest contests ever, which was the Molokai to Oahu. It is a world championship paddleboarding race from one island to another. So it is about 52 kilometers, it's 32 miles in between the massive channel in between the island of Molokai and Oahu. It's a very treacherous channel and it can be really fearful at times. So when we arrived at the starting line of the Molokai to Oahu, I had a lot of fear because what happens, you are at the starting line and you can't see where you're headed. All you see is open ocean and it is very wild out there. It is 52 kilometers, so it's a very long way to be on the standard paddle board. So I had a lot of fear at the starting line, but as soon as I started the race, hit the water, and I could set my eyes on where I was going, all the fear was gone and it was just replaced by determination and the will to get across that channel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Nathan Van Buren, second place in the full division behind our champion, Highlander. So I learned a valuable lesson from that race. That fear that I felt is actually the same as in life. Sometimes we feel fear and it is not a good thing. But what we must do is set our eyes on the finishing line and what God says. So one of the amazing scriptures in the Bible that relates to fear is in Psalm 56 verse 3 to 4. And it says, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise. In God I trust, I shall not be afraid. So this scripture can really relate to us. So what happens when we're in life and we see turmoil around us and everything may not be going as we think it might. Like when I was in the race in the Molokai to Oahu and it was, it was not peaceful around me. It was wild and it was crazy. But all I had to do was keep my eyes on where I wanted to go and the finish line. So that's exactly how we must be. When life may be going the wrong way, where may be turmoil, we must keep our eyes on God and what His plans are for us. So I just want to encourage you, if you are facing storms in your life and it may not be going how you want it to, just to really put your faith in Jesus and He will help you overcome the obstacles in your life. 